What up guys, this is going to be a really quick video about my Holy Nova AoE leveling build for the 1-70 to in pre-patch as disc. A lot of people have been asking about it on my stream lately, so I figured I'd show you exactly how to do the build uh, and kind of explain it a little bit, describe the benefits of it. We're going to start off with 5 in Holy Spec, and at some point during this we're going to probably pick up 3 points in Spirit Tap as well. You can kind of mix and match, it really depends on when you feel like you're going oom a lot. Then you're going to put a couple more points in Divine Fury, and this is going to get us up to level 20. This is when we learn Holy Nova. We're going to continue to put points in Divine Fury, and this is going to allow us to use Holy Fire and Smite a lot more uh, for really, really high single target DPS. Next, we're going to put one in Desperate Prayer for survivability. Next, you're going to put two points in Healing Focus. This could help you out in a pinch, but it's generally not that needed. We're going to put two in Impra Nu because usually we're going to start the pull with a renew. I'll talk about how kind of we do the pull in a little bit. Uh, then we want to take Searing Light, and this is obviously going to help all of the spells we're going to be using, which is really, really beneficial, an extra 10% damage. Uh, we like that. Next, we're going to take Holy Reach. This is going to increase our range of, again, all the spells we're going to be using. We like that as well. We're going to put the last point in Infra New. This is going to get us to the next tier. Then we're going to take one in Spirit of Redemption and four in Spiritual Guidance and two in Surge of Light. Surge of Light generally going to help us on single target, but it's also giving us flash heal so that when we are struggling in a pull, we can skip one global of Holy Nova and use a flash heal, and it's going to do about 40, 40 to 50% of your HP uh, and really, really help you out in a pinch. This is going to take us almost to level 40. And we're going to keep going. So we're going to go five in Twin Disciplines. We're going to put three in Imp in a Fire, and this is going to make us tankier while we're trying to tank all these mobs at the same time. We're going to put two in Imp Fort, again, making us tankier. I'm going to put one in Imp in a Focus. This is going to allow us to essentially have one extra Nova per pull uh, before we go Oom, and it's also going to increase the crit chance of it, so it could be uh, a nice little burst uh, when, you, when you use it. Next, we're going to put three in Meditation. This is going to overall increase our mana regen and maybe give us an extra Nova per pull based on our overall spirit. Then we're going to put one in Imp Shield only because Mental Agility is more important. 10% mana off instant casts. This is again going to help us do more Novas per pull. And then we're going to continue putting points into Imp Shield. Again, stronger shields at the start of the pull are going to preserve our inner fire for longer and preserve our HP for longer. Next, we're going to put one in Soul Warding. And then we're going to start putting points into Mental Strength. Once we get to four, we're going to put three in Enlightenment because it gives us Spirit and Haste. These are both nice DPS stats for the AoE pulls. Then we're going to put the last one in Mental Strength. And we're going to put one in Focus Power. This is going to allow us to get PI, which we can take. And that brings us up to level 70. Unfortunately, uh, you won't be able to make use of the talent while leveling. So as for Glyphs, at level 15, we're going to be able to take Glyph of Smite. And then at level 20, we're going to be using Glyph of Holy Nova. Uh, we also will have access to one minor Glyph, which generally you want to go for either Glyph of Levitate or Glyph of Fort. I like Glyph of Levitate. A couple of other notes. So you can actually buy a slow mount at level 20 now. And you can buy the epic mount at level 40. So make sure you do this. This will really help you when you're doing the pull. Now there's two ways of pulling. You can either run around on mounts, you will pre-shield, mount up, run around, pull as many mobs as you can, then you will hit renew and another shield as the mobs are getting to you, and then you will start novering. You're going to face the mobs so that you try and dodge as many attacks as possible, and you're going to nova as many times as it takes to kill them. At some point in the pull you may want to use Desperate Prayer to stay alive, or an instant flash heal proc. You can also reshield and rebuff in a fire, and this is going to reduce the damage that you take significantly. However, sometimes this isn't worth it, and killing the mobs faster is actually just better. So you need to use your own judgment on this one. The second way that you can pull is actually just using Shadow Word Pain. However, I don't recommend this way as it's generally not that good damage per mana, and you end up going um a lot quicker, so you really need a decent gear to do this. And in my experience, it's not worth it. A couple of ways that can make the build stronger is obviously buying intellect spirit gear if there's some cheap on the auction house but if you're really on a budget. Uh, if you have a little bit more gold to spare, you can actually go and buy a few blue pieces off the auction house for you know each sort of 10 levels. And this is really, really, really going to increase the speed at which you can level and increase the number of mobs that you can pull. I wholeheartedly recommend it. It really doesn't cost that much gold to do and 
it's gonna save you a massive ball leg. Generally, you wanna look for items with good spirit on, uh, spell power as a secondary bonus, and intellect as a tertiary bonus. Finally, having a bunch of mana pots on hand is actually a lifesaver. It will allow you to do a few extra novas when you're going oom, and this can be like the difference between life or death. So I wholeheartedly recommend grabbing a good amount of mana pots for each sort of level. They are not that expensive. Finally, you can also pick up the Arcane Elixir at around, I think it's level 37, and you can also get a Greater Intellect. Uh, Nightfin Soup is also decent, but any spirit food works as well. And Weapon Oils, you can either go for the MP5 one or the Spell Damage one. Again, generally quite cheap, but it will really, really help. All of these things will really, really help your leveling speed and make the build more fun to operate. That was everything. I hope you enjoyed the concept. Let me know if you've got any potential tweaks to the build or any ideas. This is something that I've basically just been messing around with in pre-patch. It's, it's a relatively new idea that I've had. And yeah, it's been really fun to level with. I wholeheartedly recommend it.